What is up you guys, that Nerd Isaac 2006 here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Voyager Class Optimus Prime. I think this figure was in the first wave of the uh, Siege figures that uh, came out fucking almost three years ago. Ain't that some shit? But yeah, I do really like this figure. Now, I prefer Earthrise, of course, but... There's, I, 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 I just, I still like this figure a lot. Like, the articulation, the molding, the paint, uh, uh, the sculpting, it's, everything is just pretty great. But for accessories, he does come with his Ion Blaster, which looks pretty good, which is compatible with Blast Effects. So, I'm, I'm not gonna pull out one, but you guys know how blast effects fucking work at this point. God, my fingers are chipped as fuck. What the hell? <laughs> um, but yeah, I do like this thing. Uh, it's pretty unpainted, but then again, Optimus's Ion Blaster has always kind of been unpainted. I think there's been times where there's white inside of this, uh, this section, but, uh, whatever. And he does come with his shield, and I painted over the Autobot logo with gold and then silver don't ask me why because i don't know all i know is that i did it for a reason but it was originally black so there's a yet for some reason i never painted the handle i don't fucking know speaking of the handle um yeah uh it does fold down you can bring this section out and bring this piece out and you have a fucking axe which i love and for weapon storage, you could store these things all over the place. Uh, he's got this port right here, these two on the top, uh, these two on the sides. I think he's got some on his feet. He is. He, 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 you can load this fucker up. But, uh, yeah, the figure does roll pretty well, and I don't really have anything to compare it to in build mode except for, uh, uh, ROTF dead end. Or not dead end, no, fucking breakdown, god, no, fake fan, shut up. But yeah, let's get into this figure's transformation. Oh my god, it's loud. First thing I like to do is just fold these panels that people seem to forget about every time uh, up. Flip down the feet. Unpeg the legs. Untab these pieces, raise the camera up. And then, now what? Uh, rotate the shins. Bring this piece out. Bring that down. Fold this panel up. I will say this guy is more complex than the uh, the, uh, the Earthrise version, so that's pretty interesting, I suppose. God, this figure is still so tight after all these years. Except for the head joint, but we'll get into that. But yeah, just do as I did on the legs without me explaining it at all, and then just fold these wheels down. Make sure your tripod isn't loose as fuck. Uh, bring these windshields out, then just unhook these pieces right, right right here right here where my where my finger is and then just you'll want to bring all of that up bring in this piece bring these down bring that down swivel this it should swivel but it won't uh, we'll probably have to do it in a minute and bring these arms out like standard g1 optimus prime bring these in bring all this in do all that bibbity skibbity it's almost done uh bring out the head before you put back in the wheels just the camera again and then you can put in the wheels and uh yeah this we're pretty much almost done here just uh yeah bring all that down and bada bada bing bada 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 boom you are done now this is my main point of contention with this figure this is loose as balls and so is the head what the fuck this panel why is there come on like like bro like why like who who what when where why but he can't hold his ion right uh, uh stuttery bitch he can't hold his ion rifle and his axe but that wrist is also loose as fuck and this axe is also loose as fuck. So, the figure is good and all, but there's just some parts that are really loose. Let me, let me do the shake test here. 
Okay, okay. He, he held up well in the shake test. But yeah, articulation-wise, his head is on a loose-ass ball joint. Uh, his shoulders can do a full 360 that can move out. Sorry about the sudden jump cut. My camera decided to stop recording on me. Okay, but where were we? Yeah, uh, this piece is on a hinge. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel. Uh, really nice elbow bend if my camera wants to get in focus. Thank you very much. Uh, he has a waist, sw uh, waist swivel, no ab crunch, which is kind of unfortunate. Legs are pretty limited, and quite honestly. They can only move forward that far, backwards. Ah, about that far, which is actually really good. Uh, can move out that far. Thigh swivel, and he has ankle pivot and toe bend, but that's mainly for the transformation. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, you guys may notice throughout the whole video, uh, mine has a couple of broken parts, unfortunately. I don't know why, but it, it just, I guess, time. Uh, this... Uh, uh, the fucking port broke. Here's an example of it. And this piece, very odd break, but that just, why? So that sucks, but I guess it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, here he is armed up with a gun and shield, because why not? And for comparison, here he is with Earthrise Optimus, which in my opinion is just pretty much entirely a superior figure. I I just love this figure, but I also love this figure. And here he is with my custom Siege Megatron. Not gonna do a review on this figure because obviously, but I may do a custom showcase. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media stuff in the description below. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I just said that, whatever. Uh, this has been That Nerd Isaac, rolling out. Peace.